Hi there. Hi, you two. Cheers. Top of the evening. Hallelujah. I got a day off tomorrow to uh, enjoy it watching the wind and the rain. A little Murphy Stout. Letting it settle. I'm going to have a Guinness. Master server here. My little itty bitty sparky pipes. That, my friends, is a custom, custom pipe from Scott. That was me missing the trash can. Uh, let's see. Pretty here. nice little little pipe. I was gonna say little fucker, but it's not really. I like it. Stanwell, double brass ring, freehand. Dublin, call it whatever you want to call it. It's a fucking pipe. I like it. Uh, let's see. Everybody that sent us some emails. Been getting your emails. Just haven't had time to respond to them. I literally turn my computer on about once a week. But uh, thank you for wishing us the best wishes to make it through this hurricane. But it's not that bad. Uh, I've surfed. Her, or category three and four hurricanes. We aren't getting it anyway. This one's like a little little title, little title ripple. It's gonna slide in between the keys and not even gonna get the keys. They're gonna get some swells, but Louisiana's what's gonna get it, and it's gonna probably be a category two when it hits them. Yeah. But thank you for the concern. It's very nice of you. And uh, to everybody that has been sending me emails, asking me questions, don't think that I'm... Uh, quit. Calm the fuck down. Go in the house. Go in the house. You're being an asshole. Um, I'm not deliberately ignoring anybody. I've just been so damn busy. I don't have time to answer these. I, I read them when they come on my phone, but I can't respond on my phone, so... This is an ongoing broken record conversation that I have with YouTube, so I will get to every question eventually. It may take me a week, it may take me two weeks, but I'll get back to you. I'm trying not to be a dick, but uh, I just I don't have time. Uh, and I don't get paid to make YouTube videos and sit here and respond, so if you were thinking that, uh, think something else, because I have to work for a living. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, me too, till next November. Then I'm playing. Um, I do want to share some insight with some people. Anybody that likes uh, Penzance or hasn't had Penzance because you can't get it, I have a standby tobacco that is damn near close to Penzance taste, nicotine hit, and smell. And this was, I believe, gifted to me from Nick, the Polish Piper. It's Cornell and Deal Star of the East. It's a uh, Virginia Flake. I'll tell you what it is. One half Cypri Cyprian Latakia with a generous portion of Izmir and sweetened with Stove Red Virginia. Now, not only does it taste like Penzance, to me, you know, it may taste different, but it's the same damn cut. And if you really want to compare it, it could damn near be the same tobacco. Well, this one's empty. <laughs> I saved the empty tins for traveling. But uh, let me show you. This is uh, the tin. And here is... This one's aged about a year so you'll see some white plume on it uh, Penzance and Star of the East they're damn near close all around and Cornell and Deal is easy to get pretty much get it anywhere it's cheap you can get this tin for about nine bucks maybe eight 
And uh, if you're looking for a Penzance substitute, give it a try. I give it two thumbs up. And also, if you missed our last couple of videos, this is the shit. This is the best Peterson's tobacco. It can't be made from the from Peterson because it's that good. The rest of the Peterson tobacco suck, but this is number one. Right now I'm smoking some Salani Virginia Flake. This is some pretty good stuff. It's like a lighter version of Orlick. Did you see that AD's got our picture up in his house? Uh, I don't know. I was watching one of his videos today and, and he's got, it's uh, you and me and Debbie Cakes and Buffalo Bell and Hmm. A.D. Well, we got a picture of them. I saw A.D.'s video yesterday. It was pretty cool. He gifted uh, Bill a uh, C.D. Kienic pipe. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm smoking without the fart. <laughs> he got a cherry bomb, all right. <laughs> Other than that, uh, the geckos are coming out. I got my stash warden shirt on. Mine's dirty. I wore mine yesterday. But, uh, just been working and playing a lot. And, uh, I will get to these emails. Trust me. I'm trying to remember some of them that I read. Oh, yeah. One person asked me what was Frosty Mint, the concoction. And, uh, sorry I haven't gotten back to you yet, but here's. Frosty Delight, which I made, but Frosty, I don't know which one it was, I made three of them, but one of them is menthol tobacco, which is made by Altitis, which I got from Pipes and Cigars, mixed with Northwoods, that we, we called that Frosty Woods, and the other one I got Altitis Chocolate and Altitis Menthol, mixed those two together like 50-50, and I called that Girl Scout Cookie, uh, like Thin Mint, that's what it tastes like. And then the Altitis menthol, you can just smoke straight up if you like menthol, which I do. And it's pretty damn good. Uh, but make sure you dedicate it to one pipe because it will ghost like a son of a bitch. Um, get a, just get a, go to Aristocob, uh, go to Scotch Channel, whatever, and get you a 7 $8 corn cob pipe. Perfectly can smoke it in. Um, Matter of fact, I'll show you the one I smoked the menthol tobacco in. It has a screen stem for just, menthol. Just a reminding that it's menthol. Yeah. And I don't smoke anything else in this except for minty menthol. But, um, what were some of the other Sarge else? is putting out some really nice uh, uh, corn cob stems, too. Yeah, we might have to bribe them into. Oh, speaking of Sarge. I got a couple things I need to get from Sarge. Got some Ziploc bags, so I don't know if I'm going to make it to the post tomorrow. I got a lot of shit to do on my day off. It's not even a day off, but um, I will... Oh, dude, did you hear that? Sound like the gecko did a belly flop on the uh, dryer. I'll hopefully get it out by Friday, because I have to work the rest of the week after tomorrow. Those things are weird. <laughs> we got... Like a gecko farm on the roof here. We like lizards, though. Other than that, not a whole lot going on. I've only seen maybe five YouTube videos throughout the whole weekend. I'm just busy at work. I don't have a free second to just stop and watch a video. It's normally like when I'm driving on my way home, I'm watching YouTube on my phone or something like that. But it's not like it used to be, you know. Scott, this is a beautiful piece of art, man. I hardly hate to smoke it. It's so pretty. That's what it's for. Like Daniel Manu K says. That's what they're for! Pirate. Yeah. Uh, uh, just beautiful. I enjoy the daylights out of it. Well, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm kind of mentally exhausted right now. Cheers.
Cheers. Sunday night. Have a... Yeah, it's a little different. We're normally drinking coffee. Yeah, fuck no. that. It's been a long, long weekend. Yeah, I need I need protein and iron. Yeah. That Guinness tastes better than coffee. We should drink Guinness in the morning. <laughs> Before work. That'd be cool. That's what we did in Ireland. That's what I did in high school. We'd go to the dump and drink beer before we'd go to school. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How'd you get the smell off your breath? We didn't worry about it. Mm. <laughs> we didn't care. <sighs> Had one guy wore a sport jacket all the time. Looked like he was really up and up guy, you know? He was carrying uh, test tubes in his inner pocket full of moonshine. Ooh. I got some moonshine in the fridge. Saving that for Biketoberfest. That's when things get crazy. Maybe we'll get some video of that. Other than that, just been busy. Been working on the motorcycles a little bit. Starting to get the bug to build another one here. I've got a project bike ready to go. My bike. Just got to make some room. I have to tear the motor down. Go through it. Put all new bearings in it. Machine it. Put new rings. Uh, my buddy has the head right now. Get a few things fixed on it. Well, it's a different head. I have a head for it. I got a dual carb head. It's a Bonneville 650 motor T120. Putting a Tiger single carb head on it. Port and polishing it. New valve guides. Got to fix a couple of strip threads. Healy coiled it. And uh, then the head will be done. I'll just rebuild the bottom end. Sarge is getting a new bike. When he gets back. Oh, did you see the new Fat Boy? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, you gotta go look at it after this. Pretty badass. I'm not big of a Harley guy, but new Fat Boy looks pretty badass. I'd rather. They're really improving on the Sportsters. I'd rather spend seventeen thousand dollars and buy about five bikes. <laughs> or build. I could build five bikes and and profit. Yeah, that Nomad, uh, that, big, that big old thing, it was eleven grand out the door. And it was fast, especially after I put a electronic module kit on it. What the fuck is bleaking back there? Oh, I'm seeing the image in that. <laughs> Never mind, I'm getting old. Acid Can't man. remember seeing things. Yes, <laughs> 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 Well, you want to wrap her up? Figured we just do a little. Hi, we're alive. We don't plan on dying from this category one or two little pussy hurricane. We've been through the worst of the worst here. One year, I think it was 2006, we had like four or five hurricanes back to back every week come through here. Rip my roof off. You know what the worst hurricane we've had right here in central Florida was? Andrew? Nope. What? Hurricane Donna. Donna. That was like in the 70s, though, wasn't it? No, it was in the 60s. Well, I was still in your ball sack. Yeah. So, the worst <laughs> hurricane you had. That, that hurricane poured some water on us. Our boat was in the boathouse, and the water in the lake rose so high that it put the boat into the roof of the boathouse. <laughs> yeah. There was fishing gear all over that lake. There was eels all over. All the water going in the ditches and eels. It was a lot of fun. You get any leeches on you? I have had leeches on me, but no, I, I don't know. Maybe I did. Can't remember. Hmm. Well, they're not as bad as ticks. No, I don't like that. They're disgusting. Here's the thing about a tick. It's probably been embedded in some sort of wild animal with rabies, you know, and then it sticks its head into you with its bloody dried up carcass that's been in some disease fested AIDS animal, and then now you got it. Great. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Adios.